Murray's just chilling. Yeah. Chilling like a villain. I, w I almost said that he doesn't need to do anything this this time around, but he actually has a lot of do, so... Yeah, it's a 30 minute video. I, I imagine we'll see the characters. <laughs> I hope. Maybe. Possibly. And there is a chance that there will be gameplay involved in this 30 minute video. This is not Metal Gear Solid. So, uh, Rocket Boots. Back from Sly 2 as well. Basically, it gives Rocket us. Skates. Yeah. And it's misleading. When I heard Rocket Boots, I was expecting some sort of high jump or. No, that's later. Something. Well, actually, no, it's not. In... Actually, Sly doesn't have a high jump in this game. But uh, yeah, Rocket Boots is uh, a silent way to move fast. For somehow, I don't, I'm not sure how Rocket Boots are s silent, but whatever. It's en route to drop off Team Iceland's lucky ice sculpture for the semi-finals tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. That's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guard's heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. So anyway, Murray in a uh, fly suit or flight jacket, I would say. I guess. No pressure. This is. These are serious jokes. Just, just tell them jokes about how French fries really are French. Mm, yeah. But oh wait. Well understand that. Hello, Belgium flyer. Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile. What do you say? When did you get this surface laughing? Now, how are we gonna do that? I know, all bunions love history. His favorite meal. The brains of his enemy. Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I. I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. That Baron, he's always. I love flying. Don't go outside. Listen to me. I'm so smart. I'm the boss. My mustache is so macho. <laughs> That's pretty lame, huh? That's pretty great. I wish I, was... I could grow a good mustache. <laughs> yeah, have you seen his mustache? Like, Jesus. Yeah. It wasn't turkey. And you see, the chicken's not a turkey or a Turk. It's a chicken, a French hen. I can't make heads or tails of this coin! <laughs> Get it? It's totally funny because, like, when you flip a coin, it comes out either heads or tails. Come on, that's comic gold. Comic gold, except wrong timing. Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta -da! Hey, fish! Stuck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> so of course that gets him laughing. That's I guess that's I guess it's a, a laugh. Sadist. There's something mildly amusing. It's go time. Make the no, it's no, it's perfect. Are you sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief? It's a challenge, okay? It's perfect. <laughs> oh, I love it how it's time based. Yeah. So you pull when the blue shine is up, and well, when he's laughing, obviously. Nice. I like it. Yeah, it makes up for that shitty weak joke. Yeah, it's a great mechanic, except it's kind of at the wrong moment, I guess. You oh, got well. the Belgian hanky. Nice. Oh yeah. Is it like a German shepherd or something? It's up to the guru now. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, we got the dog. That that wasn't Jeremy Shepard. Hopefully he gets his uh, fist out of his throat, so Bentley's let's go to the guru instead. Monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. <laughs> I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. <laughs> Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. So... You don't re never really need to use the guards' attack a lot, but they do have different attacks, so that's pretty that's nice. A, that's a nice detail. Yeah, Is of it course. the same attacks that they have when they are attacking you? Yes, actually. These guys, nice. those guys can... Uh, of course, you can only use one of their attacks, but... Oh, rude. I was trying not to transform. not very weird from a programming standpoint, since I imagine they probably just set the tag playable. Yeah. And actually made it so you trigger when you use it. Ah, yes, that was nice. on a runway. That's very natural. Was, it, was that actually potatoes? No, it was apples. On the runway. Ah, okay. Very natural. Well, uh, I do love apples, so I wouldn't question that. Apples are indeed delicious. Mm -hmm. Both in uh, physical form, in juice form, in cider form, and in apple pies. And also when laying on runways. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, if I found some apples on the runways, I would definitely eat them. Runway Apple is... it's good. It's good. Definitely a recommendation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is basically just us bashing enemies' heads into the back of the truck. Does it have a time limit? No, well, it does not, not real, but... but like, does it ever reach its destination? Uh, no. The... well, not... No, not when we're playing as a hero, as far as I know. This kind of run around like stupid, stupidly. Keep it up. Sounds like me driving then, huh? -huh. <laughs> it, it's funny because I have a really bad sense of geography. Yeah, same. Sense of direction. Well, no, not sense of direction. I have a good sense of direction. Just don't know where shit is. Yeah. Ah, omelette de fromage. Omelette de fromage. Mais oui. Wee oui, wee, oui. wee oui, wee. That actually does kind of make sense, since you know a large part of Belgium is uh, francophone. Yeah. Then again, another large part of Belgium is uh, speaks Flemish, uh, unless I'm mistaken. Of course, you miss the point that we're not actually in Belgium, but we're in Holland. But fair point. Oh right. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. Uh, it was Charles de Gaulle, I think, who said, How can you govern a, a people with over 300 different kinds of cheeses? And he was French, he should know. <laughs> I mean, I am French too, but I'm pretty sure that de Gaulle is a more well-known Frenchman than I am. Well, you're the only Frenchman I know of, so... Or oh, well, I know, I guess. Yeah, but like you probably heard of him, you know, considering the World War Two thing and him being very famous and having. Yeah, been... yeah, fair enough. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, there there are a number of ways to get into the uh, truck. That that first part with close to the uh, dam is the best. It's the fastest one, obviously. But yeah, speed running strats or speed running strats. 2015. Yeah, I just gotta remember them next time I play the game. Great work! Team Iceland is sure to blame the Belgians! They'll be all over each other in tomorrow's dogfight! So thank you, so for some... So the Murray mission is right here, but Murray actually has two missions, if I remember correctly. So we got the Juggernaut throw. The Juggernaut throw... It like explodes enemies on when you when you throw them against stuff. Like hard partying team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? 
Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! Anyway, rowing physics in video games. You press X button, you mash X button rather to go forward. Like I say mash because this is me pressing the X button a lot. And this is the speed I'm going. So yeah, we're speaking Exciting. No, it, like it is fun. I'm not gonna lie, it is fun. Yeah, but, but you know. it's super boring to watch. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of a problem with slicers in general, that it's a lot of fun, but it kinda gets boring to watch. Doesn't translate so. well to video. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, this kinda. actually looks yeah, I mean, they place mindset strategy. Do you turn normally? Hmm? Uh, do you turn with just the analog stick? Uh, yeah. Okay. It would be neat if they could have included some boat physics. Like, uh, press X to row one side, square to row another side. Yeah. Well, you have square, you can you can go backwards. So you can reverse Oh, yeah, boats. no, I meant like, uh, row right, row left, and you can turn like that. But Yeah, but that's kind of what I it is. I figured that must oh. have been considered, but... Probably yeah, probably considered, but it was probably taken out because they're, you, you don't do a lot of rowing in this game. I'm sorry. Yeah, that and possibly could have been unfun. Yeah. I mean, remember, this is for the small children. They probably don't understand both physics. Well, all video games are for small children. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, yeah. So, you also, know, uh, unless I'm mistaken, this is our first video of 10 to 15. Uh... <laughs> Or is it? Isn't it? Shit, I forget. This is the first. I think this is the first video we record in. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's almost. Because I, I remember the third updating. Huh? No, we were recording in fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. So have a new, have a happy new year, everyone who's watching this, and I hope your uh, 2015 is a rock and rad year. Don't you have them? No. You're the responsible one here. Let's just bang on the door. Oh, no, everyone there is asleep. And I'm not gonna wake them all up. Those guys will shoot at us tomorrow if we do that. Fine. Just go down to the front desk and ask for a spare. But you can forget about me being your wingman tomorrow. You'll be my wingman anytime. They are... They are drunk off the asses on milk. <laughs> Sounds like every Scandinavian I ever knew. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, that's... I think that's Serta, but some Finnish people. I know it's about uh, Formula One's uh, Kimi Raikkonen. That but he's he, always that he's drunk. Yeah, that he he likes his drink. Yeah, that's kind of. You know how much how true ba it is. Basically, basically, f the fans are kind of like the Irish of uh, Scandinavia. Is a nice way of putting it, I guess. I know, and that I their drink is that exaggerated, guy. but they do drink a lot. Anyway, yeah, I would say I I, I would say. That as a Swede, I have some ill will against Icelanders, but actually, I don't really. I'm sorry. And here I was thinking that every country, that every, well, not country, uh, conglomeration either. Neighborhood of countries, I'd say, is better than us here in the Balkans, where everyone is like kind of pissed right. at one another for stuff that has happened and is happening and it's kind of a clusterfuck. Sorry, pal! The valve gates changed position! We need to escape through another tunnel! But fear not! The Murray has an unnatural sense of direction! Oh, great. I mean, it's just a straight line. I, I, ex I don't expect Murray to be pulling, like, super strats here, but, you know. Oh, you know, is, is this a new route? Is it faster by 27 seconds? 
I like yeah, yeah, how it, it is more difficult than the first one. From well, a gameplay yes. standpoint, I... Not really well, much. yes, like, why would they not make the second path harder? I don't know, because maybe they couldn't bother. Oh. Also, are they back where they started? Or is it just yeah, yeah. asset yeah. reuse? No, we oh, go back okay. where, we, where, okay. where we started. It was the other way, basically. That's fair question, honestly. We, we could have gotten up on the other side of the town, I guess. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal! Can do with a vengeance! That will definitely implicate the Belgians, but what about implicating the Icelandic people? No, we have the Icelandic. Well, we have the Icelanders. No, no, so we have the Icelandic hat. And we will put the Viking helmet on the Belgian plane, and then the Belgians will think that, oh, it's the Icelanders. So we will shoot, them, shoot at them. Oh, okay, I thought the implication would be that the Belgians had also stolen the helmet. No. <laughs> No, yeah, it would be better if it was like a reverse thing, I guess, but whatever. Or, I don't know, implicate the Belgians about doing uh, rough stuff to the Ice Icelanders. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, so I'm sorry, did you miss out that Murray was punishing a plane to pieces? Uh, I, I, was, I wasn't gonna mention that, because I don't think it, there's much to say. You <laughs> punch the plane. This? Yeah. What there is to say, though, is that you can actually destroy the planes as any character, well, any, char any character can attack. I will say. Yes, but it's much more funny when it's Marty. Yes, yes it is. Uh, the Marty. Also, also known as Finesse. Yeah, exactly. Also, funny thing about uh, the alarm here. For some, you would think that the, that the uh, goat guard were here. You would think that the goat guard would, you know, hear Murray uh, punching someone, but he didn't because of how alarms work in this game. I'm not really sure how alarms work in this game, so. I can only guess. I, I think alarms. I think that like enemies can hear other sounds on a vertical level and not on a. No wait, uh, on a horizontal level and not and not vertical. Programming so. standpoint. Yeah. Prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check! You'll need to use your charged ball attack to take out the anchors. Go into ball form and quickly tap the square button to build up force. Let's strike! So yeah, you don't really get this at first, but you're supposed to, you know, quickly press the square button, as it does say, and as Bentley tells you, but for some reason I wasn't listening, so... Oops. Is there any danger from those lights? Uh, those well, they uh, well they do push you up into the laser. Those uh, things. On ah, the okay, right. Push you up into so the laser. So you have to avoid so the things. The lasers are like the level you can't go above. Yeah, well, if you do, if if you for some reason would unmorph, you know, you could. You still would uh, get alarmed. No, well, you just hit lasers. Actually, there is it's actual lasers and not alarm lasers. Ah, uh, okay. Because there's a difference for some reason. I, I, but whatever. the real danger is still the the moving floor things, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure because I wasn't sure how the mini game worked. Yeah. Well, not fair a enough. Game, whatever. I mean, it's fair enough. So thankfully, we still have one mission as Murray, and it's right next to us. Right next to us, actually. So this is the Cooper hangar. It's right next to all the other hangars because there's only six hangars here for some reason. Don't don't question it. No, uh, I won't. I also won't question how small the hangar is. It's mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like the TARDIS. <laughs> it's bigger on the inside, mm -hmm. literally, actually. Just like my favorite jacket oh, pocket. Murray. I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope. I heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stay and watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on duty. 
Greetings, troglodytes! Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you jerks let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, okay. Okay, boys. I paid you up good enough. Time to crack some scums. Bert, you can't hurt Buckshot with your fist. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. <laughs> So, the refight against, well, I guess it's the refight against Mugshot anyway. Uh, Mugshot will just stand there and hold up the doors. What you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to press the button when it's active. Um, Mugshot is not hurt by anything else, not even by Murray's Righteous Fist of Duty. Um, he takes five hits with the motor, and yeah. So if you have forgotten or have not played Sly 1 or did not watch our Sly 1 LP, uh, Mugshot Go was watch actually... Sly on LP. Yeah, like, you know, like Serp, right because apparently he's forgot, because apparently Serp has forgotten everything about it. Anyway, so yeah, Mugshot was part of the Furious 5 in that game. He was the second boss, and he was the boss of Mesa City. In that game, Sly can actually defeat him, he could only defeat him by, uh, well, he could defeat him by concentrating, using concentrated light against him. So, this is almost the same thing, I mean, bashing a motor, it's concentrated light, almost the same thing, really. Oh! Right in the solar plexus! Don't think this is over, Meatball! You're not untouchable! This is just the beginning of a really bad day. Bloodshot wasn't making idle threats! I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Alright. So, going from one gameplay segment to a completely other gameplay segment, there's a reason this video is called A Really Bad Night. It's mainly because of this mission. This mission is probably one of the longest in the game. So you start off by fighting Mugshot, and then you go directly into this uh, hangar defense, well, tower defense segment. So you have, as you can see, we have two screens, with uh, each with four traps, which you obviously control with one of, each one of the buttons. Sounds uh, kind of a bad gameplay shit. Oh, no, honestly, I like this a lot. Uh, so... Uh, I don't know, so I, I think it could be done. Not, well, I mean, it is hard, definitely. It's a bit of a game shift, especially because we yeah, haven't like really had anything like this. Yeah, it feels very much of a gimmick and not explained. Well, I do explain it uh, very good. Like No, I mean, uh, never before. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I mean, the boat is also a gimmick, but... Yeah, exactly, so... So yeah, as you can see, all the traps take some time to load up. You w usually want to try and go for the first trap that comes up. That uh, is right. It's not like they gain XP or anything. Yeah. Also, as you can see, also, what you can't see is that you switch between the screens with the left analog stick. Ah, okay. So it, does, it doesn't automatically go over. And that's a reason for that. So, after that first tutorial segment, here comes the real gameplay challenge. Oh, wow, okay, that was a tutorial, okay. I take it back then. If you do end up letting a guard through all the traps, they will go after the plane and they will explode. They will suicide bomb the plane, basically. The plane can take about six hits, six hits, I believe. I am actually... not going to joke about that. Yeah, Especially and I mean... in light of uh, recent events. Yeah, let's not. So yeah, there's a lot of enemies and you have to constantly switch between the screens so to not let any one through. It is a really fun mission, I'm not gonna lie, but again, much like the boat mission, this takes a very long time, so yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it is challenging, you have to look at both screens at the same time, basically, but yeah, it's... Fun. Hey, we got him. Nice work, Bernie. Mugshot will need a lot more than muscle to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read you, Bentley. Um, uh, this is sort of an awkward first face to face, but. 
But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous paid-off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double-crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says. Don't worry, Bentley. I'll keep those traitorous guards from damaging your hangar. Oh, wait! I just installed a Jank 86 and have an... So, hey, so that Jank 86, you boost in one direction, as I actually need to remember how to do it first. You grab onto enemies with the X button, and then you boost with the R1. And... And, and Wow, yeah. okay. That certainly is an inconvenient way to do it. This is not a very... This is... Well, I'm not gonna say this is an easy mission. It definitely isn't. And for a reason, we're gonna come up to very soon. But it's definitely a gameplay shift from the Slide 2 uh, RC Chopper missions where we had bombs. So yeah, here's tanks. Tanks? What the... F and we're gonna to jank the top off with our, giant, with our small RC Chopper. See you later, chump. He wasn't so tough. So yeah, this is the last gameplay part of this uh, of this mission, and again, it is fun, but also again, it takes it takes some time. So we're going to speed up here shortly. Oh well, I actually kind of timed that, but yeah. Tune time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, which reminds me. Thank you for reminding me. Actually, I have to do a thing after the video. Oh, um, you're welcome. I guess. Who says LP isn't helpful? <laughs> But yeah, you definitely wanna. As soon as you see a yeah, red dot, you de definitely wanna go for the tanks first because they do the most damage, obviously. As you can see, I haven't really let a lot of enemies close to the hangar, and I'm still um, and yet I'm still almost at halfway. That's mostly thanks to the big guards and the tanks. But yeah, the tanks are the worst. And wow, I actually take a lot of damage on this mission. I mean, it's easy to take damage, but yeah. Best RC pilot I've ever seen. Ah. Uh... Those thugs deserved it. No one sells out the Black Baron and walks away scot-free. Okay, team. We're all set up for the Ace of Semi-Finals. Once Sly arrives at the team hangar, we'll prep the plane and suit up for competition. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semi-finals. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great. So, how do you feel about dogfighting in video games? I loved it in Crash 3. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Wow, actually, you bring up a good point. This is basically Crash 3's dogfighting, but it's, it's instead against blimps, we are fighting 25 planes! 25! That's a yeah, lot of Yeah, but they're planes. fighting each other. Yeah, thankfully. But, well, if they do see you, they will end up going against you, but it's not like there are 25 planes against Sly. So oh, and your machine guns are a special ability, nice. No, the machine guns fill up your ammo. As you can see, the thief meter on the... No, like they... Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, like, they count as your special ability. Okay, yeah, but as you can see, we have our thief meter there. That's our ammo. Um, the circle button is our break, and if you combine the circle button with, you know... Well, actually, no. Turning? Yeah, if you do go turning, it will go to the side. If we do... Uh, if you break upwards, he will do a loop. This combat was fun. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of fun. It's kind of confusing at times, because I forget what the circle button do, does and whatnot, but yeah. Uh, other things, uh, Sly doesn't actually need to shoot down in planes, he can also ram into them if he wants to. But, I imagine here's the you thing. take a bunch of damage for that. Oh yeah, well, you do. But it, but it does actually insta-kill them, so, I mean, that's good. 
With that said, enemies cannot run into each other, and enemies cannot run into each other and it will count to the death total. You still you have to shoot down or crash into 25 planes on your own. So that's reasonable. Yeah. It does get kind of long, though, I imagine. Well, I mean, it's more the fact that if the enemies run into each other, the the you know kill count doesn't go down because for some reason. Because I mean, there's supposed to be 25 planes in the air. Also, there is a uh, top limit. Obviously, if you go too high up, you will fall down. No, uh, naturally. Yeah. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's fighting planes in 3D environment. Again, it's a fun mission, but it also takes a while. I love it how you're using a biplane, and you have the guns strapped on the wings. Mm hmm Yeah, Instead no, Instead of perfect. using the one gun uh, in front of Sly with an interrupter gear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, you bring up a nice point, because the other guys, they have their guns on the back, because they are wingmen, so, yeah, that makes sense. Our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree. 